Hi guys, it's Angie with uh, Itty Bitty Crafts and I'm coming today to do a project share for um, guest design team that I'm on with uh, Crafty Me Shop and that's owned by Esme and she has a YouTube and a Facebook group and so here's all her information if you ever wanted to uh, check her out so that's her information and then she has some information back here um, I don't know if she wants me to show her complete address but here's some more information um, where you can find her and if you need to talk to her um, she sells um, every Friday or Saturday but they'll always let you know when her sale is going to be on it and it's a live sale and uh, she like I said she has laces trims kits all kinds of things trinkets um, I'm one of her biggest fans of her trinket boxes so today I thought I'd share um, a guest design team project that I had gotten done for her and then I'd go ahead and also include some things um, that I purchased from her from the last couple sales and also a um, another little thing a box of design team items that she was so generously and thoughtful to send me I just I love her so anyways I'll go ahead and leave her information on right there so uh, we'll start off with the project because I think that's fun and exciting so um I haven't made one of a rag doll in um, I think the last time I made one was in 04 so it's um, been quite quite a while and so this is uh, a friend and I this is for a gift so a friend and I on YouTube um, are doing a swap and um, I thought we would do rag dolls and um, I, I think you know her she's uh, pearls and buttons but anyways I was getting her dress and I thought my goodness there is some amazing laces in my design team box um, so it ended up turning into a DT for Esme which I I'm so glad it did because her trims and her laces just turned out perfectly for what style I was going for this is when I do my work I try to for somebody else I try to incorporate their personality a little bit with it and add some quirkiness and whimsical to it and so what better way than add lots of pearls and buttons and um, this little girl anyway so I just started off with a pattern that I got um, online and then I kind of went my own way with it um, so I just used some heavy muslin um, and then I stuffed her with stuffing and then um, I embroidered her face and then this is just yarn this is some chunky wool yarn that I use for her hair and then I kind of just made a swirl up here and made her kind of like a wig so that's the back of her hair and then on the back I just added um, a pearl button it's these are all vintage buttons that I've collected over the years and then this is from Esme shop and then some flat back pearls and then some blush and then what I use for blush I just used um, chalk and then um, that ended up working for me so this is Esme's trim right here and then some bling and then this is also her trim right here that she actually just sold a couple weeks ago and what I put a pearl bracelet and a little tiny stud for, <laughs> for her ring and let's see so I've got several layers we got some tool and then um, underneath here is also Esme's um, this was a collar a rose collar and so I just cut it up and made some kind of you know undergarments for her and then also made um, some kind of like socks or whatnot for her feet and then um, I also had a little pearl here and then my homemade little tag and then I have it signed on the back so anyways, so this is my design team project for Esme. I hope she she adores this little girl. Like I said, I'll take pictures of her and then I'll add them to the end of the video so you can see more of her detail shots. Um, she was a lot of fun in, to make and I just hope that um, my friend really loves her and adores her as much as I did. And also I added um, some buttons here all the ways around this trim just to go with the pearl and button theme because I thought that was such a cool little thing to go off on and so I'm um, in her little brooch but so that's her we'll set her there 
And then um, we'll get to the items that I had purchased over the last couple of weeks. So this is from Esme Shop. And like I said, she sells one of a kind items. Um, they're super vintage and they're beautiful. They're even more beautiful in person than, you know, pictures of them online during her sale. And she also has um, a live video after her sale. So you can really get a glimpse live um, to see your purchases or what's left and um, go from there. But they got those. And I thought these were really cool um, to do some altered art with. Uh, let's see here. Sorry for the crunching. I know it gets amplified on video. Let's be careful here. So these are three cherub heads. Um, I'm not sure quite yet what I'm going to do with them, but maybe some mixed media art. Um, but I thought those were really neat and different. So I think these are um, like an. They think these are vin these are vintage. I mean, you can kind of tell like the way they're made. So those are there. And then this vintage um, applique bow with pearls, um, which I don't know. I might gift that to my friend. I'm not sure yet, just because it's <laughs> full of pearls. Um, and then I got some trims here. And then I just love Esme's packaging. She she always sends the most beautiful packages, and they they smell like roses. I love whatever spray rose spray she uses. She totally scored on the right, the right kind of scent, um, for roses. Cause it smells so, so pretty. Um, I didn't order this, but this is what Esme does with her customers. She's just very sweet and very kind. Um, she'll go ahead and throw an extra in, you know, just the kindness of her heart. I mean, it's just appreciation that, and of who she is. And this is amazing. I was like, Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. I mean, look at the detail on that it's just so pretty and it's like kind of pretty dense so there's that and then so i ordered this trim some purple lavender trim and it's kind of dainty and then this really 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 pretty trim look at this i just loved it i could cut it apart use pieces of it um try to make a like a doily book like so many others do here they're so beautiful i have never even try to attempt them. Well, I did a little tiny cupcake one, but um, <laughs> that was about it. And here's another collar. And I kind of like these because I, I like to cut them apart and use them kind of like a rosette or whatnot. Um, like I used one to wrap around a heart pillow. So these are fun. And then I ordered, she had, um, see how pretty these are packaged? Look at this. So I hadn't opened this yet, but this was one of her kits. This was a flower kit. So it included everything to make flowers with. So this is the first time I'm opening this with you guys. Like I said, I love this ribbon. She always includes this kind of, it's kind of like a grage, like between a gray and a beige. I don't know. It's just a super pretty ribbon. I love it. I keep all of the, her ribbon. Anyways, this is what she included in her flower kit. Some stamens, stamens, I guess how you pronounce that. Very pretty colors. And I like a fuchsia one so pretty and then look at these centers you guys look at this one oh my gosh it's kind of stuck in there look at that is that not gorgeous just absolutely stunning and then some appliques and then her fabric which i think this is like organza and there's satin silk maybe so pretty these are, and i love the textures like very pretty texture on here and I love the colors that she included for this kit. I think they're they're totally up my my alley. Neutral, soft, light colors, the sagey there. So pretty. And this is actually lighter than it's appearing on camera. It's actually more it's more muted. And then let's check this center out. Isn't that beautiful? So different. Just love it. So thank you, Esme, for putting this beautiful kit together. I can't wait to. I'm really into making flowers. Um, so that'll be fun to do. And then here's the little um, guest design kit extra that she had just sent me. So I thought we would include that in the share as well. Let's move her over here so you can kind of get a better look. Kind of getting crowded in here. Um, I haven't looked in this. It's the first time I've got to look with you guys. So I thought we'd do it together. So 
So here's the little kit that she put together for me. Sorry for the glare. And let's just look and see what we've got. Oh my goodness. Girl, I wanted one of these so bad when you had them for sale and I had missed out. I am so glad that you saved one for me. Thank you so much. I look at that. She goes and finds these at some are on shop, some are online. Um, she just finds the most amazing little things and I just love it. Oh wow, look at this applique. So pretty and vintage. Oh my gosh. And some more beautiful appliques from iridescent sequins on them and pearls. So pretty. Oh wow, look at this trim. How vintage is that? Already my style and colors. <laughs> oh, thank you, Esme. I love this trim. So pretty. And then a little Eiffel Tower charm. How cool is that? And then some flowers. And I don't own a lot of per, uh, paper flowers. Um, I just haven't gotten into that that area yet. But I really do love them. And I really love the vintage pink color and the two-tone this one has. Super pretty. Thank you. And some vintage beads, which those are very cool. I just love vintage. I mean, I just love the oxidized oxidization on them and um, you know how they weather as they're stored um, and they get like a kind of a two-tone look to them I think it's very very neat how they oxidize it's pretty much what I was trying to say anyways and then here's an applique look how beautiful that is look at the the design work in that um, gosh that would you know I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this but I've got some ideas already I mean wow that is so pretty, Esme. Thank you. And then another beautiful wedding applique. Wow, look at this one. Kind of goes right up my arm here. That one's pretty. <laughs> that one's really long. Oh, I think this is like over 12 inches. Let's see. Yeah, it's like almost 17 inches long. Thank you so much, Esme. This will be fun to use. I've used a lot of um, her things out of her other box already, so this will be fun to have a couple of different things. Oh, and she's got a little few trinkets in there. Look at those. Those are really neat. Just different. I love her stuff. It's just so eclectic, and that's what I love about her shop. I love that everything's different. I love how she puts things together. Um, I love how hard she works to go find different things um, for her store and how different she is. I just love that about her. Look, check this out. Love this pink color too. It's like a background fabric. Wow, so pretty. Anyways, I thought um, since I was putting this stuff away, I have a separate little cool little box that I have, um, fabric box that goes in a cubby that is Esme only. <laughs> and it's already getting filled to the top. I'm having to kind of stuff it in there. I'm going to have to purchase another another cubby with some more cubby boxes in it so I can add all the things that I've been collecting. But anyways, thank you Esme for having such cool things in your shop. Thank you for being so kind. Thank you for, you know, sending out the most beautiful packages wrapped up in the most beautiful packaging. Um, thank you for, you know, letting me be part of your design team. I've had a lot of fun. Um, I had a lot of fun coming up with you know different ideas or or whatnot and uh, it's just been a joy getting to know you and all the ladies in the craft community um, I admire all the support that you give one another I think it's important to do that but anyways I am hoping spring is on its way we are under like three or four or five feet of snow by now I mean it just seems to not quit so anyways, I hope everybody's having a wonderful March um, I do have some little houses that I've um, gotten done. I'm going to be sharing those uh, real soon. So stay tuned and watch out for that video. And I hope everybody's having a lovely week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.